Hello, and um, this is my vending machine. I've got to kind of set up like a lottery machine though because the price is. Oops, I forgot to collect some stuff. Alright. So, stuff comes up there. You throw stuff in this hole. Um. Yeah. Uh, let's throw a torch in there. Redstone torch. So, you throw it in there, you wait a little bit. And there's a water current. Carries the stuff over a button, but anything will work. So, there's. I'm gonna put some torches up. Yeah, anything will really work. Um. Oh, look, I got a stone plate. Um. A redstone repeater. Chuck it in there. And then wait. Um. Yeah, anything will really work. Uh oh. I've got the dispenser completely surrounded by walls so you can't right click into it. Yep, got a redstone torch out of it that time. Chuck a block of dirt in. Wait some more. Continue to wait. Kind of slow. There isn't really any way to make it faster though that I can find. So we wait. And wait. Oh, redstone torch. Um, yeah, I'll throw a bunch of stuff in there. Five lakhs of dirt really fast. Not only one item will come out because the button doesn't have time to reset itself before um, the next stuff starts running over it. See, I only got one thing, even though I threw like five dirt blocks in there. Alright. Now let's go see how you restock this thing. So you come back here open this door, so you get to restock entrance, and you right click on that, and you put stuff in there, see, I'm going to restock, what the, where'd my numbers, ah, oh, whatever, so, oh, on collect payments, it's on, so I need to go collect payments, if it's off, there aren't any payments to be collected, so let's go get the payments now. Payment drop is over here. Let's see. We got some dirt. I don't know what else I, I don't remember what all I threw. Um, yeah. And then if I come back over here. See, the torch is off now. Simple redstone wiring with some knot gates. Um, I'm not really here to show the redstone. I'm here to show how the vending machine works. So this current runs over that plate. Well, not really runs over it, but you'll see. So you come back here, items get thrown in here. They come down, get pushed by the current out. And I'll go ahead and put the wood back. Whoops, I just ran over the pressure plate. So, I'll just put this back. Um, well, if I could, I think I hit the pressure plate again, perhaps. Alright, so let's get out of there. So, it goes, it's pulled across. Um, let, let me knock that. Eh, let's just pretend that block got thrown in there. So if you watch, something cool happens. The block comes, hits the pressure plate, and then continues on its way. Um, it only works in certain directions. I don't know what directions it works and which ones it doesn't. But And here's why a ton of items at once don't work. See how they form that little group like that? Uh, it'll only press the plate once though. So presses the plate, still is pressed, still is pressed, and unpressed. So, yeah, that's why groups don't really work, but... Yeah, that's actually... Oh, put a lock there, or there, or there. Um, it doesn't work, I'm not really sure why, it just doesn't. Um, yeah. That's basically how the vending machine works. Um, you can turn it into a slot machine type deal if you know the... Yeah, I'll go get the stuff. Yeah, oh, maybe not. No. Uh, if you know the distributions, like... Um, uh, we restock. went. So, that's the most common slot, or no, that's the most common slot. The leather was the least common. 
I don't remember how it's exactly how it's distributed though. It's on the Minecraft wiki, but yeah, enjoy.